Hey, it's Jeremy here. I want to talk a little bit about building resilience as a designer. You know, over the period of time when you create something amazing, you know, you're working on your skills, you work so hard to create an amazing design, maybe it's for a client, maybe it's for yourself, but then you get shut down when you post it on social media. Maybe, you know, you're getting all this criticism or maybe you're working for a company and the manager just says it's crap, you know what I mean? And that really hurts you, you know? so. How can we build resilience when we're getting criticism or feedback on our work? You know, number one, we need to really be objective. Don't get attached to your work. You know what I mean? Your work is not who you are, right? You're the one putting the outputting the work, creating that thing, coming up with the ideas, but you can't be emotionally attached because at the end of the day, your goal and mission as a designer is to solve a problem. You're meant to deliver a deliverable, you're meant to deliver a solution to a problem that the company is facing or the client is facing or the brief that you have at hand, right? So we need to change our perspective and really look at everything as objective. How can we look at it from the statistical point of view? How can we look at it from the user point of view? Like, is it does this fit the goal? Does this fit the target? Does this reach our target audience? Does this come into align with the brand guidelines? You know what I mean? You gotta ask all these questions and really, and really think to yourself, you know, am I being objective or am I just being emotional? And you know, am I being entitled? Do I have ego? You know, and that brings me to number two, like let go of your ego. Especially as creatives, you know, we get attached to our work. We put a lot of time into crafting something visually beautiful, you know, but then our ego gets in the way when someone tries to give us criticism or feedback, or maybe we even ask for feedback, but then we're not willing to receive it. So in order for us to receive it, we need to take a step back, you know, be still, let our ego go, and remember to be humble. Because if you're humble, you'll be able to receive and listen to that person giving you feedback and criticism, and make sure that you're asking trustworthy people when you ask for feedback. Don't just post it online and post it to everyone and say, hey guys, what do you think? Like, that's pretty That's pretty silly, guys. You know, that's pretty silly. Focus on asking trustworthy people that you know in the industry, and then, you know, ask the right questions, like, and give them context, and then be humble, listen, and be open to that feedback and criticism, and make sure that you're listening with the intention to improve your design. Because if you improve your design, you'll improve your mindset, you'll be more confident, and it's actually gonna help you get better. You know what I mean? So that's personally how I see see it. That's, that's what helps me to be more resilient, to be more confident, um, to be more open. Because open people, you know, you grow faster, you grow better. Because at the end of the day, you're, you're here to learn. We're all on a journey, we all started somewhere. Even my designs weren't really the best when I first started out, but I took the time slowly evolving and growing, asking for feedback and criticism. And even in college, like I remember I did this layout, right? And it was for a magazine layout for a project we had to do. And I remember I put a full scale large image on the back of the A4 page and I had text over it and like the header and everything. And it just, and like to me it looked all right, but then some of the older students in the second second year they like, were looking at it when they were in the class, they're like, man, this looks bad, you know? And to me, I was like, I felt a bit cut, but I'm like, like, no, like, don't get cut. I have to, you know, this is a project. I have to get better and improve myself. So getting harsh feedback is actually good as long as they provide a solution, you know? That's why you need to select the right person because they're going to give you constructive feedback in a positive way, not just cutting you down. But if someone brings criticism, they should be able to bring constructive um, advice or tips to help you. So that's what we need to do, guys. Be humble, you know, get rid of your ego, um, be confident, ask questions, be willing to take feedback and be willing to listen to others above you because that's how you're going to grow fast and improve your designs. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and these quick tips. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a, a switch situation where you felt cut when someone gave you criticism or feedback because I know I have in the past and just drop that in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more design content every week. It just lets me know that you like this content so I can make more for you. Hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll talk to you soon. See you later.